He does. Ryan Nugent Hopkins out day to day. And for Edmonton, they got to stop giving up goals against Edmonton. 14 of their 18 wins, five plus goals this year. Got to find ways to win some games 3 2 and 3 1. Dry subtle. Keith CC and Derek Ryan begin on the penalty Edmonton kill. Penalty and Dry subtle borrows his way in. Puck maintained for the moment, however, by Barzell, who receives a return pass from Dobson. Twirled over and now a shot by Bellows. Tapped home, and the Islanders have the game's first goal. And it's the captain, Anders Lee. Gifted a bit of a power play here. They capitalize. They win the draw. Dotson swings it across. And they get it down low by directing the puck to the net, creating some chaos. And Lee bangs it home. And for the 19th time in 23 games, the opposition team has scored first against Edmonton. Edmonton, 10-0. When New York has had success, it's been doing exactly that. As you mentioned, a physical club. And once again, Lane Lambert coaching today, which is located in New York City. This over the border in Elmont, New York. Here's Dry Settle. Back door, tap tone by Kyler Yamamoto. Coming off a three-point night. And the Oilers have tied this game. Drysaddle centered. Yamamoto was there. It might have gone off an Islander's skate. Goes midpoint, then slides it across to Leon Drysaddle. He hops inside, centers one in front, and it banked off the skate on the back door of Matt Martin. And the Edmonton Oilers have tied it with Leon Drysaddle's league leading 25th goal of the season. Looking right side for Jean Gabriel Pajot. And in close games, this, oh, breaking in, Pajot, rich shot denied by Miko Koskinen. Flashed the leather and kept it out. And Leon Drysaddle goal, uh, Evan Bouchard got caught off the ice. I was going to say, New York has struggled in close games this year. Centering pass, one-timer off the bar. And then Sevier batted it down and might have hit a goal post again. Gifted score, had some big playoff games. Got the shot, Koskinen fought it off. And then Derek Ryan, short side pass in front. Two cracks. 30 seconds in. Credited to that man, Leon Dreisaitl. Banks one in off Matt Martin. Wins the face off here. Keith to Yamamoto. Poke checked away by Barzell. Yamamoto regains. What timer, Keith? And that drew iron. 2014-15, Duncan Keith on that one. I mean, he got all of it. And Sorokin didn't pick it up cleanly. And you heard the end result. Excellent effects there as he won. Right hand side. Beauvillier, wrist shot denied by Koskinen off a strong rush. And he keeps it a 1-1 tie with 9.08 to go in the period. Just one goal, one point in his last 16. Koskinen makes sure it stays. Green 16th, Breezy 17th, Char 24th, Bailey 14th. You get the idea. Here's a quick dish, backhander, and that was sent wide by McDavid as Durs able to knock it down. But now, Bob, win now means yep. today. Here's a centering pass and a denial on McDavid from Warren Fogle. Trickles off the boards to Bouchard. Dobson stick handling, gets it right back. In over the line. Barzell dishes Beauvillier shot fought off by Koskinen. Landed a second time on his blocker, but he was able to keep it out. In two, stopping Anthony Beauvillier. Nurse maintains, and then a redirected puck flew through the blue paint. Here's McDavid, open man. Quick shot save, rebound stopped by Hyman. Rebound, score! A seeing eye shot deflected home, and it's Darnell Nurse who picked up the loose change, and that puck nestles into the back of the net for a 2-1 Edmonton lead. All amongst defensemen and goals, and Edmonton just kept it up, clattering away at the puck, and Nurse knuckles one past Sorokin after hard work from the Edmonton Oilers line of McDavid, Hyman, and Pogliarvi. Pogliarvi with the net drive there. And Nurse gets his second of the season. Time 17-13. On the move, Ross Johnston punches it in deep. Cuckoo absorbs the check from Zarnik, who pried it loose, and then backhand, wrist shot, score! Zarnik won the battle, Beauvillier finishes, and we are tied again. He signed with Calgary a couple years ago. Just a chip and chase. 
and Cuckoo got run into the boards and then ended up getting stripped and they got the puck across and unfortunately Tyson Berry couldn't get his stick on the puck there and Beauvillier is not going to miss that one. High game. Islanders have really turned it up here in the third period, Jock. Bailey ahead for Bellows. Wrist shot fought off by Koskinen. Rebound clear to the half wall. Pajot will leave for Mayfield, an odd man rush, and there haven't been many for the Edmonton Oilers today. And you knew he was going to look past there if they're now roaring up the ice. Mayfield a shot off the rush, save Koskinen, backhander denied on Parisi. And the Oilers again have numbers coming the other way. That's the play that starts to transition the other way, and then Mayfield with a chance at a subsequent sequence. With McDavid bearing down on him. Pajot out to Mayfield in front. Pounders couldn't get the high slot tip. A blast by Pellick to Parisi a shot. And Darnell Nurse just saved the game. It's reliable 5G network. We just saw it. Darnell Nurse selling out. Effective shot block there. He fronts it. Otherwise. Yamamoto yep. on him. One timer Bailey and a save. A rebound. And Koskin and another sparkling stop on Lee. Mayfield to Barzell. New York. Pressing for the go-ahead goal. Koska to two more big stops. And Devin Shore without a stick on the sequence. And then right at the top of the screen, he gets run over and his helmet gets knocked off. They have not won a game under these circumstances all year. The Oilers coming off an overtime loss yesterday in New Jersey. Two all through 60 minutes. Pajot. We'll send out Pajo to match up with Dreisaitl. You know it. Pajo's a great face-off guy. But Dreisaitl holds his position. And that puck forked loose. McDavid with pressure. But the Islanders, it's Dreisaitl finding Nurse for the win. He tried to center to McDavid. Poked ahead. Pajo with Dreisaitl back. Streaks in. Waits for a teammate. Pulls up. Hits the trailer. Pelic a shot. Denied by Miko Koskinen. And now it's New York's possession with a minute 20 to go in overtime. We are tied at two. Barzell doesn't like the read against Yamamoto. Dishes off. Dobson, wrist shot, scores. Noah Dobson, who had a goal and an assist in the win over Buffalo on Thursday, puts this one away for the New York Islanders, who win back-to-back -back games for the first time since November the 6th. Fortunately for the Oilers, Noah Dobson just walks right into one and rips one past the blocker side of the Edmonton Oilers, Miko Koskinen. The Oilers get a point, but they don't get the win. As we see another look at this, and good shot by Dobson. No question about it.